Okay, so we'll look at price control. So supply and demand has determined that price is $150. And at $150, a million people are buying. Let's say that this is for airline tickets. So a million people buy, $150 uh, per airline ticket, let's say, is the going price. Government, let's say, comes in and says that's not fair. $150 is too low. We want to help out the airline industry. But here's why that would be no help if they decided to set a price floor. So a price floor would only be effective if it would be set up high. So I'm going to draw this line in here. This is your price floor, which I'll abbreviate as PF. Here's why it would be no help to the airline industry if the government tried to raise up the price of the price floor. All we have to do to see the impact of this is just read the graph. So the first point, so let's say, by the way, that this is at, um, let's say, $250. So the government's saying 150 is too low price floor is set up high because it's the lowest price allowed. That's the definition of a price floor. So the first line that it hits, this is your demand curve. That's where it hits the demand curve. So if we trace down from there to the quantity, to the x-axis, since it was the demand curve, it shows quantity demanded. Next thing that it hits is the supply curve. That's where that price floor hits the supply curve. Trace down from the supply curve and clearly the supply curve would show quantity supplied. Now if zero is back here, quantity supplied is greater than quantity demanded. And that's the definition of a surplus. So the government says 150 is too low, they set a price floor at $250. Now quantity supplied is greater than quantity demanded. And that's just your definition of a surplus.